user defined data types um, everything except primitive or basic data types such as boolean character integer is referred in C++ as a user defined data types right so for instance for instance inside the string header we know that the string type is defined it's not built into the language the string is something programmed out of basic data types or primitive data types so anything like this is called user defined data types so example is string or vector which is dynamic array or complex number with as defined in complex uh, number theory C++ variables uh, we already mentioned that they must be declared before they can be used right so uh, examples this is variable declaration so the variable gets created placed in computer memory and then it gets initialized of course this initializer is optional you don't have to provide it initializer is optional uh, this is also an example of variable declaration and the next line we're already using existing variable right so we decided to create a counter give it initial value then we start using it this is now just a computation statement right it's just a a statement that does some arithmetic with existing variable so this is not the declaration of the variable this is declaration or creation of the variable so technically from the language uh, uh, standpoint uh, it's a declaration declarations are important because they introduce variables into the scope and uh, it's it's significant because this is the first time an object is used the first time it gets its initial value and of course on that specific movement you know the rest of the the rest of the program may depend very heavily so declarations have you know significant recognition declaration initializers uh, a few things about initializers in c++ i said that this is my variable count and it's an integer Right, so the data type has to come on the left hand side and the initializer is optional so I can say count equals five there are three ways of doing this one is what I did with this uh, equal sign which is simply initial initialization indication that there is initial initialization the second version is using parentheses like this it will be doing the same thing and also there is a way of doing it like this with using curly braces all three do exactly the same thing okay so choose your style read the book for reasons why it's done like this i would uh, strongly recommend to i mean it is a matter of style but this is perhaps uh, if, if 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 you ask me my my choices of style or preference would be this would be number one choice for me because it's sort of like just a simple you know assignment idea behind the equal sign this would be my choice number two and this would be my choice number three in terms of the style so this would be i would say anytime i do this i could be doing this and i find this to be um, more readable after all two punctuation characters with an opening and closing parentheses here and only one over here was just a single equal sign so make your choice this also may be confused with lists so you know it's uh, it's and this is the latest uh, style that was added in uh, to the language i think in 2014 standard of the language but um, uh, just see what the book is using i think that the book is using this style uh, quite extensively but um, i find this to be uh, more readable when i use the equal sign let me build this right and 
uh, the error messages that I'm getting here are saying a redefinition, right? So whether by mistake or intentionally or unintentionally, uh, you cannot have multiple declarations in the same place or in the same scope of the same variable. It must be, uh, this is another part of uh, uh, strongly typed programming language requirement that there is a, a, a there is a everything has to be declared properly and used according to the data type with which something was declared but also there should be one definition C++ is a one definitional rule a rule language so if you have a program that's using uh, 100 different source files and you have a function named main its definition is supposed to occur only in one file, but not in two or three or more. Okay, one definition rule. Same thing with variables. Create a variable, you create it once, but not multiple times. Okay. So I'm just going to like sort of like uh, comment this out uh, to give you alternative uh, initialization syntax. Just remember these three doing exactly the same thing creating the variable and providing its initial value. So later, uh, some of the syntax will surface again when we start talking about uh, vectors and uh, other types of containers containing sequence of values. And there, uh, this syntax will be used uh, much more commonly with those types of things. Otherwise, so moving on. <clears throat> uh, more examples of variables I guess uh, using names uh, generally speaking I would refrain from naming variables uppercase typically if you want um, to create a constant which does not have a uh, it cannot change that would probably be a better choice for uppercase name uh, names but uh, generally speaking uppercase is not an appropriate choice for variable names but it's illegal okay so these are examples and it just says here okay look at the error uh flag busy um it gets uh, redefined right so it was already defined and all of a sudden you try to redefine it so in reality a redefinition comes from here in reality you want to get rid of this and simply make it uh, change its value to true I, I i would guess right instead of redefining it but as a, res a result of copy and paste oftentimes you can uh, you know make a simple mistake and uh, and run into redefinition okay so this is um this is bad style because notice that flag busy was uppercase now it becomes lowercase and it becomes a separate variable extremely confusing easy to make mistakes why are you doing this and uh, using digits in front is illegal 